I'm Kirby, and welcome to Lion's Roar, Georgian Court University's online guide to financial aid. I've got a question for you. Do you need some extra money? Do you want a job that's related to your major and has a really short commute? You should get a job on campus. Working here at GCU has lots of benefits besides getting paid, but that's nice too. On-campus jobs start at $10 an hour, and on January 1st, 2020, that goes up to $11 an hour. An on-campus job will give you skills to market on your resume. Even if it's not glamorous, every little bit helps. After you graduate, you'll have a leg up on other people who have never worked before. Saying you've answered phones in an office or helped solve problems for clients or shouldered an important responsibility makes you a more appealing candidate. You'll also make connections with your coworkers and supervisors. If you get a job related to your major, you'll get to know your professors and they'll get to know you. Then your professors will be more likely to think of you when opportunities arise like working on an independent study or assisting in a lab. Faculty, like employers in the outside world, are more likely to want to work with someone they know over someone they only had in class. You don't know what's out there, but your professors do. So make sure you've made those connections before the next opportunity happens. Even if you don't get a super glamorous job or one working with your favorite professor, you'll still be giving back to the GCU community, which is always a good thing, right? Right? There are lots of different kinds of jobs available. Some of them are administrative, working in an office, filling out paperwork, managing schedules, answering phones. Hang on a sec. Hello? Oh, no, I don't work here. I just pretend to. You can even get a job assisting in the science lab. Ugh, gross. You could assist a coach for one of our fantastic sports teams. Walk it off, Brenda. Walk it off. You can be a tutor at the Writing Center, Academic Development and Support Center, or the Math Lounge. Ah, oh, yes. I have no idea what this means. You should ask somebody who actually works here. You can be a student ambassador for the admissions office. And as of this spring, all of our buildings have electricity and indoor plumbing. Hey, what are you doing? Or you can be one of the staff at the fitness center. And hey, if none of these jobs appeal to you, there are plenty of others out there. Hey, hey, read the sign. It's nasty. Wipe it, wipe it down. Wipe it. All of it. So how do you apply to an on-campus job? The first thing you should do is verify your work-study status with the financial aid office. This year, only students who qualify for work-study are eligible to work on campus, unless a department has an external grant. If they do have a grant, it'll be mentioned in the job title. You can verify your work-study status by emailing financialaid at georgian.edu. The next step is to register with GCU CareerLink. This is an online job board to find opportunities on campus. There's a link to it below. You'll need to set up a username and password. Remember the password page you used to keep track of your accounts when you applied for financial aid? You can write down your username and password there, too. Once you've registered, you can look up the job postings available. To find job postings on campus, go to the GCU website, georgian.edu. Click on Service and Support and select Career Services. From there, click on GCU Career Link. Next, choose the Students button and log in. Before you can apply for jobs, you have to upload a resume. Choose My Resumes on the left side to upload a document. Once you've uploaded a resume, click on Dashboard to return to the main screen, and then click Search My School's Jobs. Here, you can search for jobs by type, major, and certain keywords. If you see a job you like, scroll to the bottom of the description to apply for it. You should apply to anything you think you have the skills for. The most interesting jobs are likely to be competitive, and the more you apply to, the better chance you have of getting one. If an employer is interested in you, they'll invite you in for an interview. This is serious. Pay attention to how you respond to them and how you dress for the interview. Keep all communication polite and formal, and be sure to dress professionally. Unless you're applying to be a professional sleep study participant, don't show up in a t-shirt and sweatpants. Remember, just because it's on campus doesn't mean it's not a real job. Let's say you applied to a bunch of jobs, nailed the interview, and now you've got an offer. Congrats! Before you can start work, 
you'll have to meet with your supervisor to sign an employment agreement and go over GCU's hiring policies. If this is your first job on campus, you'll need to make an appointment with the Career Services Office to go over some paperwork. You can get in touch with them at careerservices at georgian.edu. You'll need to bring several forms of ID to this meeting. There's a handy-dandy infographic called Completing the Puzzle of Student Employment that will tell you exactly what to bring. There's a link to it below. On-campus employment has great opportunities to make connections and make some money while you're in school. If you're interested, check with the financial aid office to see if you qualify for federal work study, and then apply for as many jobs as you can through GCU CareerLink. Your career is probably going to take you in all sorts of unexpected directions after you graduate. To prepare yourself for the opportunities that will come your way, apply for an on-campus job today.